Well, Heart of LA is an amazing community center and we're providing rigorous fundamentals in language arts, math, access to music for kids who otherwise wouldn't have the opportunity. All of it, free for families, so that no longer is poverty the obstacle to realizing their dreams. We're trying our very best to make a difference, not just in the life of one child, but in the life of an entire community. Hi, my name is Tony Brown, and I'm the executive director of Heart of Los Angeles and the founder of the Ola Intergenerational Orchestra. The Eisner Foundation has really been a leader of providing intergenerational support for programs and activities throughout our city. When I had the opportunity to speak with the foundation about a dream that I had to create more intergenerational programming here in this neighborhood, they said, absolutely, why don't we take you to a place to where you can see some really good intergenerational programming happening. So we were looking to bring together people of different ages, different ethnicities, musicians of all skill levels, and unite this community around an intergenerational orchestra that would reflect the diversity of this community, that would feel more like the heart of Los Angeles. We had seen one in New Jersey. Tony and I went there and they did great work, but to do it here in Los Angeles, it was gonna take innovation, it was gonna take leadership, it was gonna take courage, and it was gonna take somebody who was willing to try to unite their community. And Tony has been doing that for a long time. It was the perfect place at the perfect time. I had really taken on the inspiration of Maestro Dudamel, whose two tenets of life are, music is a fundamental, right? and music will bring a community together. Welcome everyone, I'm so excited about today. Okay, so what I thought we could do is welcome introductions. My name is Daniel Souk, and uh, I'm, I'm a musician, artistic director and also conductor. This orchestra is very special in its way because of its flexibility. This is for multicultural and intergeneration. This is for all. It was just a matter of that last and final step, you know, reaching out to the communities and pockets around the city. When this intergenerational orchestra gets its first chance to, to come alive, my guess is that there's going to be a whole new array of individuals across our city who will need this intergenerational orchestra more than ever. Nice. We're so excited to welcome everyone. Now we're revving the engines right back up to get all of the former instrumentalists and current instrumentalists together in one room, one culture united to play and build back even stronger. I just want to give congratulations to every single one of you to coming out here. And finally, we are going to play some music tonight. Yes. <laughs> My name's Louis Fantasia, and I'm a director and a writer and an amateur double bass player. I like the idea of this intergenerational concept, you know, as a unifying principle. Keeps a geezer like me on my toes if I'm playing next to some 15-year-old, doesn't it? Yeah, I better have my Wheaties in the morning, you know? My name is Jezebel Cruz. Music is important to me because the sounds just are beautiful to me everyone coming together to make one beautiful thing, that's, that's pretty cool. Unless you're in some extended family now, you don't get an opportunity to exchange intergenerationally. Secret to playing in an orchestra? Yes, I mean, listen. When you make a mistake, look at the other guy. I hope to gain more knowledge from the older people. I'm very happy that I picked up my instrument again and that this orchestra can give me that opportunity. So many of the arts programs have been cut in public schools. They don't have an orchestra outlet to play in. It gives them the opportunity to play in an orchestra, which is a valuable experience for them, being part of a team. Do I still learn? Every day. Every day, otherwise you're dead. You know, we were all a little nervous uh, at the beginning, first couple of meetings, but it's been great. The first day I came, I was the only viola. I didn't really feel comfortable playing until the other viola players came. I've played in front of an audience before, but I mean, I pretty much have goosebumps about it. 
She seems much more confident than she did the, the first week. It's great that she stuck it out. There's a unique power in music that can bring people together. They don't have to speak the same language. They don't have to be the same age. They only have to come together to share their gifts through music and to learn and to grow. The orchestra stands as a reflection, as an example of the diversity of the city that comes together as a voice. And, and the most important thing that you learn is that you listen to one another and you blend and you harmonize and you make something better as a group than you would individually. There are concerts that play perfectly, but you don't feel anything. But there are some concerts that will hit you and, and it'll make emotion, your emotion arise. There's something, what they're saying and what they're playing. And I think this orchestra will do that. I dream of building an orchestra with the soul, the soul that will communicate to our community. Oh my gosh, we're here. I listen, I, I could hardly sleep last night, I'll be honest with you, because it's been two years that we've been praying and planning and envisioning this day. And now that it's finally here, I just have goosebumps. Thank you for being a part of this afternoon's inaugural holiday concert. And thank you for being a part of the heart of Los Angeles intergenerational family. Please enjoy our show.